What's going on YouTube? This is First Cars 21 and welcome back to a new video. As you all know, I recently got back from the National. Man, and it, it was quite a blast. So much to do there. So many cards. It was great meeting everybody. Uh, I'm actually going to do a couple videos. This one I'm going to go over some stuff. So when I got there, uh, went ahead and picked up my VIP package. It came in one of these bags uh, with a bunch of other stuff and I'm going to go over some of it here. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on everything, but I do want to give you an idea of what all you do get. So some of the free stuff that came in there was this Ultra Pro card thickness thing. You got some free packs, Panini packs, some other random cards, um, probably like a fake auto. Uh, basically, you got a couple of everything. If, so I got the Super VIP, and it basically, you just got double of everything. So there was the VIP package and then the Super VIP and the Super VIP got two of everything, so I got a couple of these. But I went ahead and gave some to a buddy Jason, uh, since he just got the tickets. And then also got this from my buddy who was actually set up at the National. He gave it to me. Uh, the bummer thing about this year's National was that before they used to give out cards. There used to be cards in here. Um, they didn't do that at all this year. Maybe they'll do it next year. Hopefully, we'll see. I got a nice Tim Duncan that I picked up a while ago. As far as for... Other stuff that was free. So for those wild card packs, wild card is trying to make a comeback with cards. Uh, you got a free pack. So I think I got two of these, you got two free packs. And you know, I'm gonna open this up in a future video. So stay tuned for that. And then also if you went to the wild card booth and you signed up for to follow them on Instagram, they give you a free black pack or white pack. So actually follow them a couple times and then you can also buy these packs. They were like five bucks a piece. Um, I haven't heard the best things out of these, but I figured, you know what, why not see what's all inside them? Maybe wildcard would be the next big thing. Who knows? They did have these super expensive boxes that you could buy, and then you would also get another free box. All right, some free stuff I got. I got this nice upper deck t-shirt. Was uh, hanging out at the hotel that I was staying at, and it seemed like every single night there was a train night going on. And then an upper deck representative was there. He said, hey, you guys want some t-shirts? And I was like, we we're like, sure. So I'll leave a picture at the top here. Basically, he gave us a free t-shirt. Also got this at the National, another free t-shirt. So if you do have an opportunity to go, do take advantage of all the free stuff you do get. So Pristine Auctions was giving away free t-shirts. Nice about this is the back. Shows 2021 the national and that's something cool to get as a you know memento from attending the show. Uh, also, I forgot this guy, so I got this. This is also part of the VIP pack. Basically, it's just a breaker mat from Upper Deck. Got two of these, it came in the VIP package that you all get if you happen to get one, plus all the autos. I didn't get a whole lot of the autos. Actually, you only got one auto. You do get 18 free autos. And the only auto I got, and I have to thank Haas for this, is that this Sissel Felder, he actually had an extra card and gave it to me. And we were at the VIP pre-show party. So I went ahead and got his autograph while we were there. Figured, you know, that'd be a nice keepsake to have. And then also in our VIP package, we got these pro molds and these are actually version two so if you can tell there these actually allow you to put the card in a sleeve and then put them inside the one touch which is actually pretty sweet so i do like these when they first came out they were kind of hit or miss this is a nice 35 point got two of these in the vip package i gave one to jason and but that vip package was was nuts right and then also did get a black box. I opened this up on my Instagram. I will open it up here to see to show you all. If you happen to not check on my Instagram, we'll stay tuned for this. I'm going to go over some other stuff too. I'd like to thank Rikon. He actually got in line for the eBay quite a bit of times, right? And if you got in line for the eBay booth, they were giving away these DJ ski cards. And I was, you know, looking at other booths, checking out so many cards. Uh, the National is insane. It's kind of crazy. It was very crazy. I think Friday was the biggest. It seemed like the most people were there. But he happened to 
have a couple of these and he was nice enough to give me one so I greatly appreciate it. You can see there's got the GOAT Jordan on it. These are all numbered out of 2021. Feel like Mike. But those are pretty sweet. So thanks again, Rikon, for that. Another t-shirt I had picked up while I was there. So I got this guy. Went in, you know, I got this, I think it was the first day, Wednesday. And Tyler was over at the Card Talk Pod booth and picked up Charizard can't tear an ACL, which is great. The, I think these got sold out pretty quick. And I mean, it's like kind of nice to actually meet up with Tyler. It was actually great to meet up with Tyler, Lou, and Ryan over at Card Collector 2. Those guys are awesome. Greatly appreciate all their content. Another thing that I did while I was out there was had a dinner with some of the local guys that went out there from Hawaii. Uh, we went to this nice steak place. Uh, did some pack wars, and then one of the boxes, I actually happened to win half the boxes, or half the box of Prism, so we had some Prism Retail, and we, you know, everybody who won something got to pick what the next pack war was, and I was lucky, because we did baseball, um, basketball, and obviously you all know I like a lot of baseball, or <laughs> not baseball, basketball, and then I happened to get this nice Anthony Edwards, right, so out of that pack wars, if you all have ever done pack wars, they're pretty fun. It's just like doing a break. It's all fun, you know, get a bunch of buddies together. Pick the random, you know, one guy pick the lowest numbered silver card, right? So there was a couple silvers. And then I happened to get the lowest numbered silver card. And I won half the box, right? So that was, that was great. Nothing better than win half a box of Prism. Definitely take that. Also in the VIP package, got these Sharpies. Got a couple of them, you know, if you want to, we're getting autos, stuff like that. Bunch of random stuff. There was other, some pamphlets and booklets and stuff like that, as far as what you, you know, you got in your package. But as far as for single goes, singles go, uh, basically didn't pick up a whole lot throughout the show until the last day. And even the last day, there was still an insane amount of stuff. This one booth had probably 30, 40 boxes. I just went in there, you know, went through. A lot of these were probably closer to a dollar. And, you know, picking up a hollow Tony Parker, right? 1617 first year optic for a dollar. I mean, I'm all about getting nice inserts of PC guys, all stars for a dollar. I mean, can't complain there. Those are some of the spur stuff that I got. I did get a lot of. Kevin Durant, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, Kyrie Irving. These are all the Steph Currys I got. And surprisingly, as many cards as I went through, I think I only got one card. I got duplicates of one card, right? So that's the other thing you got to be kind of concerned about, too, is when you're going through singles is duplicates. And the last thing you want to do is get, like, you know, 10 duplicates of the same card. And the nice thing about this booth was that They've seemed to have been really organized as far as for, you know, having the same sets and, you know, with the same cards. So as long as you, you know, kind of just went through, figured out what you wanted and pulled them out and then decided, hey, you know, that's what I want. Nice KD first year optic. And, you know, this is going through these boxes on the last day of the show. Right. And I've been by this booth probably 10 times or so. There's hundreds of booths at the National and we're going to be talking about our experience here with the uh, House of Cards, Rikon on JPN Sports Cards. So stay tuned to that live video. And if you missed the live video, do please watch the follow-up. Got all these Kyrie Irvings. Been stashing away a lot of his stuff. He's definitely going to, you know, be a Hall of Famer in my eyes. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate that he happened to go out in the playoffs. And it kind of, you know, reminded me of the first time the Cavs and LeBron were together and they missed the playoffs because he went out, like, I think it was the first or second game. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how the Nets do this next year. Part of me kind of thinks that the Nets are going to be the Cleveland Cavs of 2015-18. You know, now that the Lakers have made some big moves and the Lakers are going to probably be the, the Warriors of that same time period. Now that Russell Westbrook is on the Lakers, we'll see. Maybe the Lakers won since they won the previous year. And 
Now the Bucks won this year. Who knows what's going to happen in the next couple of years. Maybe the Lakers are going to win two more. It'll kind of be the same thing as what happened with the Warriors and the Cavs and all the finals that they went to. You see, and those are the two that happen to pick up the same of, right? So it is what it is. I did pick up a lot of nice stuff. Go through some more other Westbrooks here. Won't spend a whole lot of time. Got some Kawhi Leonard's. All of these for either a quarter or a buck, right? So they even had some some sales at the end. If you wanted to pick up a whole like three, four, five row box, spend a couple hundred, you would have got a bunch of a ton of cards. Right? And as far as for stuff that wasn't you know cheap, I just spent a few more dollars on these guys. A Peyton Manning. I actually picked this up at the one of the trade nights there at my hotel. Uh, Darren Fox, rookie. Big fan of these mosaics, older ones. Tim Duncan, I'm pretty sure I probably have this card. I got it for five bucks. Uh, I'd like to thank Tyler Teapot. Uh, he, you know, was nice enough to like find this, take a picture of it, send it to me. Where was that? Got this. I actually got this on the last day of the show. So I have over 600 different Duncan mem cards. And I didn't have this one out of 75. So I was like, you know what? I mean, Walking around, basically my last trip around the show. And I was like, oh, wow, didn't see that one. So I picked that up. Picked this up. Trade night. They're at the local hotel. And definitely a huge fan of this patch. It is out of, I think, see here, where's the number out of? 725, so it's not that low number or anything. But that patch is sick. Got this also at one of the random trade nights. So it seemed like every single night there was a pop-up trade night at the Lowe's Hotel. This number, Duncan, out of 10. I think I paid 20 bucks, something like that for it, for out of 10. It is a Panini. Not the biggest product, but nice to pick up something super short print. So those are the biggest stuff that I picked up as far as for, that I'm gonna show in this video. I am gonna have a couple more videos and talk about, I got some cards graded. Also have some bigger pickups. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please do so. Some of the stuff that I'm going to be showing, I've showed on there. So stay tuned to that video. And then I'm going to end off with this here. And if you have any redemptions that haven't been claimed by Panini. Or were not sent to you so far. What you could do is you could go there. Wait in the super long line, which just took an average of two hours, it seemed like. And then they'd give you value of what you had. And it seemed like no matter what you had, you could always get a black box. And each black box is basically made up on the spot and based on value. And I think most val the most value they gave out was either like $1,000 or 2500 2500 total. Each box, I think the max was like 1000 And depending on the value of your redemptions... And I'll probably talk a little bit more about it during the live show. But I had a Dewan Blair 2012-13 autograph that was super old and a Marvin Bagley rookie card. I think it was maybe numbered out of 5 or 10. And I was able to get a black box. And I was, you know what? I was going to save to open it. I already opened it at the show. But I want to show you all what I got here. It is, they all are one of ones. And I got this nice dab and cook. And let's see if I can show you here. Maybe it's on the back. Well, you can see black box one of one there. And then on the front. Right there. One of one. It's kind of a stamp. I'll take a picture of it with better lighting and put it at the top here. It's like an imprint of 101 2021 the, the National. And this is his rookie, 2017. So I was really impressed with what I got for, you know, those two crappy redemptions that I had, hadn't received yet. And, you know, this may not be worth a lot. It may be worth a lot to somebody. But the fact that I got a black box the national 2021 and this being my first national this is to me is priceless 
and I'm probably going to just hold on to this as a memento for going to the national. So let me know down below what y'all thought of my pickup so far. Like I said, I do have some cards to show and in a video or two that as far as the greatest stuff, I did submit five cards and I'll, I'll show you what those cards are up in the corner to BGS. And then also I got some stuff from some fellow YouTubers, some, some care packages. So I'll go through those and bring those up too. If y'all happen to attend the nationals, if I said hi, please let me know down below. It was great meeting everybody out there. It was so much fun. I can't wait till next time. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hopefully y'all staying safe out there. Y'all take care and thanks for watching.